Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here and today we are going to go over how to kind of edit and change the aesthetics of your Google Form. Specifically, we'll be going over the theme feature of Google Forms. Okay, so as usually start our videos, we first need a pre-existing Google Form that we want to edit. So let's just open one of our event registration forms right here. And as you can see, there already is a photo and a color here, but that's because we had created this using a template so this photo and this aesthetic overall aesthetic had already come with the google form itself but what if we want to make specific changes what if we want to add a specific design that's unique to our specific business okay so here's how we do it first things first you're going to want to head over to the upper right corner of your google form where you're going to see a array of buttons you're then going to want to look for the artist palette where if you were to hover your mouse over it you would see customize theme kind of pop up so if you were to hit this as you can see a greater menu will then appear over here where you can kind of change your text style the header image and the color and the background now these are the basic kind of ways to change up your Google form and let's just play around with it so you guys have a better idea of how it works. Okay, so change your header, you can even change the font. Let's make it something fun, Pacifico. As you can see, the font immediately changes for all your headers, for your questions. Let's say we want it to be at Meriwether. Suddenly your questions are all changing in terms of font. Your text, let's also make it somewhat different and well as you can see this changes the font correspondingly with header being the largest text question being the second largest and text being the generic text over here as you can see you can also play around with their font sizes though you should note that header will always kind of be bigger than the question question will always be bigger than the text and so on and so forth hence why there's like a range of font sizes you can choose from typically you don't want them to be the same size but you could but it wouldn't really suit your purposes okay let's try changing up the header image okay so as you can see this one is corresponded to this image that's been uploaded but if you want to change that if you were to click it you would see a menu full of preset images that google already provides for this purpose but let's say you want to add your own what if you don't like any of these photos you can head over to your own photos folder where if you do have photos it would appear here you can upload it directly from your computer but regardless of whichever method you do, typically once you've selected the photo, in this case I want to select this, all you got to do is hit the insert button and it should appear here. Now before we head over to changing the colors, we just want to show you what it looks like if you were to use your own image. So I'm just going to click that section again, click the image uploaded, and as you can see I've added a photo to my Google Drive. So once your photo has been uploaded to the photos, of your Google Drive, you can just hit the corresponding photo and hit insert. In this case, because my photo is not set to the size of the header, it's going to ask me as to what parts I want to show of this photo. So let's just show like the upper half. Once I hit done, as you can see, the photo will then change to show my food photo in this case. Okay, next you want to go over color. Clearly color is kind of just you can click whatever's already here. You can also add a custom color. And based on the custom colors you add, your background colors will then change correspondingly so it kind of always fits the aesthetic. So you don't really have to worry about the background. All of the colors are kind of preset to change according to whichever base color you're using. And your base color will always be what's lining the section headers or in this case, the darker sections of your Google form. Okay. And that should be it for playing around with themes and colors of your Google form. Hopefully this helps you better manage them, maybe add a little bit of spice and aesthetic to them. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you need any more help when it comes to Google forms, check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below. See you next time.